Looking at that to see off Bishop's Cleave. Team from Gloucestershire, Brentwood Town needed a replay to beat the Essex side. And then Eastley beat them by three goals to two just to make it to the first round. Looking, building again. It's Anan. And it's hit by Turnbull on the volley. Difficult one to keep down. Out of the ground. And it's Murray. Are there any takers for Brighton? Batipiedi was the man arriving, and he didn't miss by much. Yeah, Tumble just went to sleep a little bit, and he just sneaked in on the blind side. Bennett. Snapped on by Murray. Space here for Elliot Bennett. Too much elevation. Yeah, as I was saying a little bit earlier, probably indicative of a lot, a lot of the evening. Got the equaliser. Might have got a winner in normal time, but didn't quite manage it. As well, Thomas up towards Craig Falkenbridge. Elvis Hammonds, who else? For Woking. And he was dragging Calderon with him and Calderon incandescent. The fact that the corner has been awarded here to Woking. Everybody here glued to the action. Turnbull with the corner! And it's headed in! Sobanmu! Ola Sobanmu! The 18-year-old who has come off the bench for Graham Baker. And we're in a walking wonderland in the FA Cup. Well, free header from the substitute, but there's an inquest going on in this. That's Brighton defence who completely leave him unmarked. Can the keeper come for it? I think the answer is yes. He's floated up, he's six yards out no more, he's rooted to his line. All he does is drift off his marker, into the middle of the goals, heads it down, it's a great finish. The keeper, well, I think he's going to come out and punch that. The, the keeper, uh, and the size of the keeper, might have been able to come out and just fist that away. And there by Greer for Brighton, it's Bennett who strikes it! 2-2! Swift response from Brighton. Elliot Bennett. And Woking have to start all over again. There's a couple of Muppets on the pitch at the moment, but they're just getting off. And he did have a chance, uh, you know, just a couple of minutes earlier, Bennett, when he sort of just skied it over. Again, it was Murray who lost his marker for the goal, just, just laying it off here. And this time he, he does everything right, but he just keeps it down. Tariqa's got the book in as well now. Just Tariqa having his name taken. Brighton trying to push on and win this tie. Well, Tariqa was involved with the real he's just realised. Right yeah, he was booked earlier on, and it's a red card. It's a red card, it's a second yellow for Tariqo. Roger Reese has realised that he did book him before. It's borderline farcical what's going on here, but the bottom line is the referee has the decision correct. And it's the end of the story for Tariqo. Well, he's in there for Brighton. One! Taken by Bennett. One. Wasn't going to go to trouble. The goalkeeper, Andy Little. Matapiedi. Uh, Bennett and Sogbanmu had tried to nick it away to no avail. Now, to Brighton mean business this time. The shot was just curling away. Well, Sparrow, who scored once already, probably thought that was net bound. That was a really poor touch from Anan initially that, that puts him in trouble and a little deflection off the back, I think it is. Uh, and Ricketts and just scoops it by with that little bit of spin on it. Well, Ricketts committed himself. And Woking almost outgunned at the back. Again, it was the centre-half, this time it was McNerney. Good defending.
men over here. Yes, they have. Hawkenbridge with a bit of freedom. If Woking can find him. Brighton tied in knots at the back. Here is Falkenbridge. And straight at Brezavan. That might represent the last Woking chance. There it is, the whistle. The signal, the end of extra time. And this FA Cup first round tie will go to penalties. Well, Brighton will be the more disappointed of the two. Graham Baker's side have already represented the town with distinction. It's Woking 2, Brighton 2 at the end of extra time. You pray, you place them all properly, neither did it, you put them in the right spot. Two, you have a proper run up every time. You have a three, proper run up. Three, put it in the there. You choose your corner, you don't change your mind, you keep your eye on the ball, and you make it. Here we are in 2010, and it will be Glenn Murray to take on Andy Little. First penalty of the shootout, dispatched with a plum by Murray, and Brighton have the lead. Uh, walking. It was interesting to hear their manager, Graham Baker, when we went down there during that break, he said, no silly run-ups, proper run-ups, no fancy dance stuff. Let's see if we've taken heed of his words. So Banlu, who scored an extra time, doesn't score this time. Well, he had an empty net because the keeper goes completely uh, the other way, you see. It's just one of those things, he just tried to guide it, he's been over-cautious trying to get it way into that corner. A poor start for Woking. Up against Andy Little. Sparrow for Brighton. Beautifully done. The Seagulls are on their way. Well, they got a lovely goal in open play. Probably should have got a second one. Here. Well, they definitely should have done. Well, that's two lovely penalties. Really giving the goalkeeper no chance at all. Now, Falkenbridge, I think it is the substitute. This is hugely important, having missed the first one. Vital penalty for Craig Falkenbridge. Oh, he's missed it. Wild, wild attempt. It'll be Bate Piedi. The Argentinian, the Brighton substitute. Could it finish? First miss by Brighton, and still there is hope for working. Elvis Hammond has played once for Ghana. That cut back in 2006. Hammond! And he's missed as well. It just is not happening for working in the penalty competition. This one, two win it. Well, how about that for finesse from Baz the substitute? Brighton have done it. A fairy tale foiled in working this evening. A mixture of joy and relief for the League One leaders. But walking a big part of the storyline this evening as well. A bit of a letdown, Derek, really, with the penalties, wasn't it? They were so poor. So poor from walking. We heard the coach say to Darrow, it didn't matter who wins now they've got here. Well, it did, it does. It just wasn't good enough. The performance was but the penalties couldn't match the performance of over 120 minutes when they put so much into the game to go out with such poor penalties. It's so, so frustrating. But well done to Brighton. It was a tough game for them, a tough game for them. But they came through, maybe a little bit lucky, but a great deal of credit to the non-league side Woken. What a spirited performance.